Today the Wheel of Food is asking me to make a fruit sabayon. So sabayon is a sauce that we can put over fruit or, or cake. Um, so today I'm going to try it over fruit. To make the sabayon, we only need three ingredients. We need uh, marsala wine. Now, I've seen dry marsala, sweet marsala, and then unlabeled whether it's sweet or dry. I like the ones that are unlabeled. They seem to be kind of in the middle. Sweet marsala is going to be best for making a dessert, so it'll be great for the sabayon. But if you're going to say make a chicken marsala, the sweet marsala, I've done it. it it's like chicken is dessert. <laughs> it's a little bit too sweet. We rarely eat it all, but it was still a little bit um, unusual. In addition to the, to the marsala, we're also going to have one tablespoon, by the way, of marsala. We're going to have one tablespoon of sugar and then one egg yolk. So we're going to get that whisked together in this metal, metal pan, and then we're going to put it on what's called a bain-marie, where we actually just kind of whisk it until it gets nice and fluffy. I just finished separating my egg, and uh, you can see there's a white. I'm gonna put that in the fridge, and I'll, I'll make uh, something with that. Maybe I should make a pavlova. That is another dessert that uses an egg white. But, uh, so here's my metal bowl, and now let's get the yolk in there, plus the marsala and the sugar. We're gonna get this whisked all together. All right, let's get that going. Good. For the fruit, I'm going to use blueberries, raspberries, and then I found these angel cots, right? So they're like a white fleshed apricot. They call them angel cots, and they're pretty remarkable. So of course I tried them already, but check this out. So some stone fruit has, um, it's fixed to the stone and some has a loose stone. This is, check this out, I can actually just split it in half with my hand. How cool is that? And this just comes right out, right? And that's it, I can now cut this up into small pieces and it's so sweet and delicious, you wouldn't believe it. So uh, if you see these angel cots, I totally recommend just cut, you know, break them in half, take out this, the pit and then eat it like a snack and you'll be super happy. So there's all my fruit. I've got the angel cot, the red raspberry and the blueberries. Um, so it looks quite pretty. Now all it needs is it's sauce, yum eat. All right, I've never done this before guys. I'm supposed to put this metal bowl on here. I'm using a uh, silicon whisk because I don't like um, the, the sound of metal on metal scraping, uh, which is what you'll see if you look up these videos on how to do this. Um, they're all using metal whisks, so hopefully that's okay. So this is supposed to double in volume and get lighter in color um, as it cooks from the uh, steam coming up underneath. I can see it's starting to foam. Oh, look, it's changing. How oh, cool is that? Well, it looks like I have more research to do. Um, so I whisked it and Unlike what I saw on the internet, it didn't turn all white, like it turned out real white, and it didn't seem to be getting aerated. Uh, and then it started to seize up into a, almost like a yolk, you know, a hard yolk. So I added another tablespoon of wine and it brought it back into a, the right consistency, but still, it's not the right color. So I'm gonna do a little more research, see what I'm doing wrong. A few days ago, I tried to make a sabayon sauce, my first time ever, didn't work out. So we're gonna try it again today. Um, it still was delicious, but it never fluffed up. So I did some research on the internet and I saw lots of different proportions. I saw double the liquid, more than double the liquid. I saw a tablespoon of sugar. I saw two teaspoons of sugar. So there's lots of variation here. Also, the order in which you do it. Some people are like, do the yolk and the sugar together and then put in the marsala. Others like put the yolk and the marsala together and later put in the sugar. So lots of different opinions on the right technique here. So I'm gonna take a second stab at it using some of what I learned and let's see if it comes out any better. Okay, here goes. So got my uh, bon marie or double boiler. Um, I've got my egg yolk and I got my marsala and I'm gonna do twice as much this time, two tablespoons instead of one. And I've got my sugar and I'm only gonna use two teaspoons which is one teaspoon less than last time. And I am going to try to use my immersion blender whisk. <laughs> so hopefully I don't knock my phone over with the cord while I do this. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. Yeah. All right, so. I'm going to do the yolk first, and I'm going to do the sugar with it. Let's get those started. And then, once I get that going, I'm going to go ahead and put it in my mouth. Oh, it's not full of flying. <laughs> All right, well, that was a big mess. But uh, check it out, it's totally turning into a salayon. So uh, that's working. <laughs> the sauce went flying everywhere. 
But if you look, that is legit the real thing here. And I mean, look at that. It's it's fluffy, it's airy. So clearly my, my whisking technique was a problem. However, using the electric whisk, that was a problem as well because everything went flying everywhere. So uh, I'll need to either improve my electric whisking technique or my hand whisking technique. But uh, it looks like this actually worked out this time. Oh, look at that. So there it is, a beautiful fluffy Savoyon uh, over blueberries, raspberries, and uh, those are angel cots that I cut up. Um, and it's warm. Mm. It's lightly sweet. A little bit of that sweetness also from the marsala. Mm. That's cool. What a cool little dessert. So if you have some fruit and an egg, some marsala wine and some sugar, you can make something fairly fancy for a guest without a lot of fuss. Um, you can also make these savory. Like you don't have to put sugar in them. You can use um, any kind of uh, flavor combination you can think of. Make it spicy and you can make it salty, savory uh, and uh, citrusy and put it over like chicken or pork. Mm. There you have it. I got some work to do still, but this one at least worked out.